right? And people are going to ask this question because they're like, oh, I don't have to believe in God. And I can still love America and be an American. But it's like you see the farther we pull away from God, the farther we're pulling away from our laws constitutionally. Can you explain a little bit on that? Do you think you have an answer for that? All right. So in reading through all of these civilizations, I found an anomaly, something that stuck out that was unusual. It was ancient Israel. So around 1400 BC, Israel comes out of Egypt. They come into the promised land. And for the first 400 years, they don't have a king. Wow, the whole rest of the world's kings and pharaohs and emperors. And here you have a, a whole nation with millions of people and no king. Especially because people are so attracted to put a leader over themselves. You, you get a group of people that are having a meeting. Naturally, we appoint a leader. But you're right. For 400 years, they didn't appoint a single leader. Yeah, so you if know. you think of it. Israel was the beginning of the concept of equality, that everyone you see is equal to you. Uh, There's no royal family somewhere that everybody wants to butter up next to. And that the law says there's no respect of persons with God, that male and female are made in the image of the creator, that even the stranger living amongst you is under the same law that you're under. Ancient Israel was the beginning of the concept of equality. I mean, like, we're all equal? There, there's no, yeah. like, royal family somewhere? We're all trying to climb some ladder and butter up next to them and get into a private meeting and have we <laughs> be uh, favorites, you know? And then Israel was the beginning of the idea of tolerance. Here they were worshiping the one true God, and they never felt compelled to force anybody to worship the one mm-hmm. true God, right? They didn't say, well, we're going to subversively go into all these countries and overthrow their governments and have make force everybody to get their lamb and worship Yahweh. It's like, no, it was voluntary. Israel was the first nation with private land ownership because wherever there's a king, you never really own the land. It's always going to be conditional of you staying on the nice side of the king. Think about that, guys. Just think about it. First off, I want to say this. He said all that stuff off the dome. <laughs> he didn't have a slideshow. I mean, I'm pretty good at what I do, but that was amazing. And I want you guys to do something. Go on AmericanMinute.com. You guys can pick up a DVD of it, also a book of it. I'm just going to keep plugging it through, AmericanMinute.com. And uh, you're just going to find out, how, how many books have you written, Bill? It's about 20. About 20 books. But there's like a good amount of stuff, like The Real Santa Claus, The Real St. Patrick, all these things. So you'll find a lot of different topics and different things like that. Um, I want you to go back to that, though. Like, this is good because the, 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 the concept of people being equal and that everybody's created under God, that's cool, right? But how do they maintain that, right? God gave them a law. There was a law written in their heart. They knew all those laws, basically the first four were written about us and God. The last six were against me, you and I, right? Mm-hmm. You remove any one of those, it just starts to dissipate. What does it say? Mm-hmm. I, b- I believe it's in Peter Timothy when it says, if, if you break one law, you're guilty of breaking them all, right? So you have that problem of, especially when he, what he just said, that if you have a king, you'll never be able to own property. You'll never be able to own your land. Yeah. It's impossible, just like America. And so, like, and and I'm saying America now. We're supposed to be the freest nation on earth, but you never really own your property once you pay off your house. Don't don't pay your property tax. Don't pay your property tax, which is only what, like in our areas, like 4,000 a year. Yeah. Right? They'll come and remove your property. Yeah. Because I don't want to pay a tax. (laughs) You know what I mean? So, was America meant to be set up that way? Was that kind of what the the founders envisioned, was to be free and just own your land and, 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 and work freely, be you, worship the God of, you know, worship God, the creator, the way you want to worship him, basically. Right. So America's founders looked back to ancient Israel. And uh, just a couple more unusual facts about ancient Israel that I think the viewers will find interesting. And then I'll, I want to answer your uh, question a little bit more clearly. So Israel was the first nation where people could own weapons. Huh. No, wherever, really? wherever there's a king, the king has an army to enforce his will. The common people are disarmed. Yeah. In ancient Israel, every man was in the militia and armed with a sword upon their thigh, and they were ready at a moment's notice to defend their family and their community. Israel also had a bureaucracy-free welfare system. What's that? Well, in Egypt, people were selling their souls to the Pharaoh for a handout of grain. Mm -hmm. In Israel, when somebody harvested their field, they left the gleanings, the corners of the field, for the poor people to pick through, like Ruth. This way, the poor were taken care of without some political leader collecting everything and doling it back out to those who can help them stay in power. And there had to be some effort in that. You you kept your dignity. Yeah, you did something. You had to work. You you were picking in the field in order to get your food, which that's different from 
just receiving I a check. That's Deuteronomy you know? 19 or Leviticus. 19. I think it's Deuteronomy 19 is when he said that. Yeah. They give him that command, yeah. yeah well, it's interesting because it, it, the psychological aspect of that is if somebody uh, doesn't do anything and they get money, it makes them feel worthless. Yeah. And then they end wow. up hating the person that gives them the feeling of worthlessness. So they actually despise the person that is generous. Hmm. And so that's the dynamic. Ah, yeah, that's a good point. And so, uh, so if they do something, they said like in the Appalachians, yeah. when the th- depression happened, the government was wanting to give money to the poor people, but they wouldn't take a handout. And so they were starving. And so they figured out that if they had them exchange a cabbage, which you know is growing on the ground, mm-hmm. then they would give them the money and the food, and they they would take it because they gave something. Yeah, and they then, did something for it. And then they didn't need the cabbages, so they dig a ditch in the backyard and just throw them all in there and <laughs> let them run. But the people, <laughs> they felt like they had to give something in order to get something because of that that uh, Judeo Christian work ethic. Um, but but anyway, so here's ancient Israel. Um, they are the first nation with no police. Everyone was taught the law. Everyone helped enforce the law. It was like everybody was deputized. We have a little of that today with the traffic laws. Somebody's weaving in and out of the lanes. You take it upon yourself to honk the horn. Yeah. Or maybe a mom watching a bunch of neighbors. even citizen's arrest, right? Like you can do a citizen's arrest. The sheriff had told us that uh, a few years ago when we were in Minnesota. He said, you kind of have almost the same authority I do. You can arrest somebody who breaks the law and wait until we come. He goes, I just have a badge, basically. That's... I'm deputized, right? Mm-hmm. But we are all deputized, in a sense, in America. So in, in ancient Israel, it was really clear that way. It's sort of like a mom watching a bunch of neighborhood kids. She has no problem correcting somebody else's kid. In Israel, everybody corrected everybody else. It was a self-policing system. Israel had no prisons. Everyone was taught the law. I mean, you look at ancient Israel, um, uh, ancient Egypt. Joseph was in prison in ancient Egypt for about three years. And... Um, but in Israel, when a crime was committed, you got the elders of the city together, and you had the trial immediately. And then, of course, there was a city refuge you could run away to to a yeah. trial. So Israel was a citizen-dependent model. But you needed to have an educated populace. Because if the people are the king, people are, they need to be educated. So Israel was the first nation where people could read. 